The Little Chick, written and illustrated by David Clyde Walters. Once there was a little chick that lived on a small farm. Well, the chick wanted to leave the farm and explore the world. One day, when his parents were not looking, he squeezed through the fence and he ran away. The little chick ran across the yard and into a field. Well, soon the little chick came to a cow. Now the cow was worried that the little chick might get lost, so he told the little chick that he should go home. But the little chick would not listen. He just kept right on going past the cow and farther from home. Now before long, the little chick met a horse who said, you're a long way from home, little chick. You can get lost way out in here. You should go home right away. But the little chick didn't listen. He just kept right on going past the horse and into the woods. Before long, little chick met a deer who was surprised to see a chick so far from the nearest farmyard. He told the chick that there were many dangers in the woods. He said the little chick might be caught by a fox or a wolf or maybe even a cougar. The deer told the chick to run around or turn around and go home, but the chick didn't listen. He kept right on walking. Back on the farm, the rooster and the hen noticed that their little chick was missing. They called and called to their little chick, but there was no answer. The little chick walked and walked. In a while, he came to a river. It was a long way to the other side of the river and the little chick didn't know how to swim. But the little chick found a stick of wood that was just big enough for him to stand on. He thought it would make a fine boat and that he could just float over to the other side. Back on the farm, the chickens made so much noise calling for the chick that some crows flying over came down to see what was the matter. The chickens told the crow that their little chick was missing and asked if the crows could help. The crows said they'd be glad to help find the missing chick and off they flew. The little chick thought it would be easy to sail to the other side of the river but it wasn't easy at all. The strong current sent him drifting down the river. Meanwhile, the crows were looking everywhere for the little chick. They asked the cow if he had seen anything. The cow said, Yeah, mm -hmm. I saw a little chick, and I told him to go home. But he wouldn't listen to me. He just kept right on going. By now, the little chick was scared and started to cry. He wished he had listened to the animals that told him to go back to his safe home on the farm. The crows then met the horse and they asked if he had seen a little chick. The horse said, <laughs> Yes, I saw a little chick <laughs> and I told him he could get lost so far from home. <laughs> I told him to go back home, but he wouldn't listen to me. He just kept right on going. The last time I saw him, he was headed to the forest. The crows then met a deer and asked if he had seen Little Chick. The deer then explained that he last saw the chick going toward the river. The crows then flew quickly to the river where they found the little chick crying as he drifted down the river. One of the crows flew down, pushed the little chick back to the bank of the river. 
Another crow then grabbed the little chick, lifted him into the air, and quickly flew back toward the farm. The crow swooped down into the chicken yard and placed the little chick back inside the fence where he belonged. His parents were very happy to have their little chick back at home and the chick told him he was sorry for running away. The end. But I hope that teaches you a lesson that you shouldn't run away from home and you should be careful where you go and you should always listen to your parents.